Got all kinds of stuff to share with you guys again today. Unfortunately, the motherboard that I ordered for that PC build that's sitting over there has yet to arrive. Gotta love when that happens. All nine of the PC parts are here, except for one of them. So it's just sitting there, just like waiting for me to build it. But anyways, websites, 4070 Ti super builds are already out there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share some of the benchmarks that other people have used. When I put that together, we're gonna pair it with a 4080, the 4070 Ti super, and then a 4070 Ti. Those are the only three graphics cards that I'm gonna have in stock. So those are the only three that I'm gonna be able to test together. So if we go to the specs, pricing available, so the, the performance, this is what you guys wanna see right here. We got Assassin's Creed Valhalla, 92, all right, my webcam is not in the way. So we have the 4070 Ti Super and then the RX 7900 XT, which I, to be fair, this is actually even better than me comparing it to NVIDIA graphics cards. I don't know why I wouldn't have thought about this, but overall, uh, it's, I mean, looks like it's a bit of a letdown, but I mean, AMD has always been a very, very, very good value for gaming. It just, I really wish that they would up their, their, whatever um i wish that they would update the video editing stuff photo editing stuff 3d rendering stuff obs stuff all of that kind of stuff because if, if, if they could actually get their drivers right and not have adobe programs crash all the time i would absolutely swap to amd but because i don't play games as much as i used to and i'm editing videos non-stop yeah gonna be swapping to uh, amd anytime soon forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff intel ceo claims that panther lake is going to deliver twice the ai performance over arrow lake i had to share this because if it's not obvious with what i've been talking about man i am very 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 interested in ai it i'm very excited for the future because like what we have right now dude is just like a bunch of chat bots and like these chat bots are they're nice to get information and stuff so future generations of intel processors realize your vision with ai pc capabilities we got arrow lake lunar lake and then we got panther lake so right here so I, I swear i wasn't skipping over all of that for no reason so we have right here the rumored intel client cpu roadmap we have the core 13 to 1400 the core ultra 100 200 whatever that is and then whatever this is so the 20, 2025 to 2026 is when this is going to release. And then you can see the comparisons to all of this stuff. If you guys would like to hold up, if you guys would like to go ahead and pause the video. Oh, it's all to be confirmed. Anyway, what are the odds of that? My webcam is in front of all, uh, you can go ahead and do that, but to keep the video in a, a timely manner, because we are going over so much. Um, I'm not going to go over all that, ben those benchmark stuff. So in Trotted, let me know down in the comments below how many of you have tried this game. Looks really, really good. I haven't tried it yet, um, but it looks super fun. I have watched some gameplay on it. I watched a video from Jack Braggs and it looks like a pretty good game. Um, and then there was one other guy that reviewed it. Jack Frags was just like an impression video, but the, the other guy like actually reviewed it. But anyways, uh, the it says it has early access has a problem. Quest progression is server wide, which means a single player could hog all of the fun times to themselves. So that kind of explains itself. I'm guessing that this is going to be updated pretty, pretty soon. Um, this doesn't sound like it would be. I mean, I'm not a game developer, so I have no idea, uh, but it doesn't sound like it would be the hardest thing to update inside of a video game. But um, let me know if this has been happening to you. I have, again, I haven't tested it or played it, so I have no idea. So anyways, I tested AMD's Radeon, or I tested AMD's RX 7600 XT against the RTX 4060, and I was shocked by the results. So this right here, that's an NVIDIA card, right? Actually, is that, that, that has to be an NVIDIA card. So the market for graphics, $300, of RTX 40, uh, I want to know where you're getting your 4060 for 300 bucks. AMD 76 and below performance. Here we go. Yeah, all right. This is what I was looking for. So we got the 7600 XT versus the RTX 4060. Here's it. We got Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We got Forza Horizon 5, which I'm literally just what I got playing. I love Forza games. Super fun game. So this looks like definitely more similar. Um, so yeah, these are all the games. 
that they ended up testing. Again, AMD is a pretty good value if you're just gonna be getting game. But dude, I'm just being real with you, man. Like, if you plan on streaming, if you plan on editing videos, if you plan on doing the Photoshop stuff, if you plan on using any of these AI programs that are that are actually gonna use part of your GPU, I'm just I'm just gonna say a few words that are gonna save you a massive headache. Don't get AMD. So Microsoft lays off 1,900 Activision, Blizzard, and Xbox employees. The reason that I wanted to share this is because your boy is an entrepreneur and the podcast channel dedicated to entrepreneurship. I get a lot of comments. Not everybody wants to do entrepreneurship. It's not as safe. Not as safe. What do you think is going to start happening when AI starts becoming more popular? You're going to regret not being an entrepreneur, bro. I'm just saying. So this right here, Samsung makes a surprise new offer to the S24 buyers. And that offer, my friends, is, so all together, this brings the S down $207. So you can get the phone for $1,100. So yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. This is an awesome phone. I got mine on the way. I haven't, a, a few of my buddies have gotten it early and it annoys me because I, I pre-ordered mine from Amazon. And I have to wait and I have to wait like four more days. I'm pretty sure which sucks, dude, because I wanted to get the video out. Um, but I, I did. I got the S24 Ultra. So expect that. I don't review phones, but dude, it's like a mini computer. It's so cool. I watched uh, Marquise Brown's video on this on that thing, dude. And it looks sick. So AMD Radeon driver. I just wanted to let you guys know there is an adrenaline 24.1.1 driver. That ended up releasing the highlights, new game support, like a dragon, infinite watch, and then Tekken 8. And then there's new product support for the AMD RX 7600 XT. A couple more of the updates here AMD video upscaling, additional video improvements, smart technology tab, AMD assist, additional op operating system feature support, fixed issues. These are the issues if any of you have been uh, having problems with them the known issues so there's your issues and then nvidia also released their driver the 551.23 i don't download game ready drivers i only download the, the studio drivers um because nvidia has their issues with with releasing with adobe too but it's nowhere near amd so I, there you go there's two two known issues <laughs> and then what it was like <laughs> there just like to put it into reference for you fixed issues known issues and then let's come over here to AM, to nvidia <laughs> i just do so i'm not like just spitting stuff out of my mouth literally wasn't even intended to prove that point here in this so uh so this right here i thought this was pretty neat gigabyte launched the new geforce rtx 4070 and 4060 eagle ice graphics cards i love white graphics cards so my friends that is why I'm sharing this. I just wish that Gigabyte would release the more white. Uh, because that's what this, the, the 4090 that I have is a Gigabyte one. It's like gray. It's like a silver gray. Which isn't, uh, it's not bad looking or anything. But, I mean, I just wish it was white. You feel me? I know you feel me. But anyways, boys, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about this stuff down in the comment section below. Um yeah thank you for all the support on the channel and all that stuff it genuinely does mean a lot to me more than you think it does so peace